Good evening, everyone. The time has came. We can get started. Fifteen minutes late, but uh, look around the room. Uh, what a crowd. Great. Very great. I'd like to welcome every one of you here. I'm Gary Nystrom. I'm the chair of the Boone County Republican Central Committee and a member of the state Central Committee. I'm addressing you tonight on behalf of the Boone County Republican Party to welcome you and to review some basics before the official business of the caucus is conducted. Let's first begin with our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. Thanks for the welcome. And, uh, well, this is a great big night for Iowa. Uh, we get to make a recommendation to the rest of the country on who we think should be the next president of the United States. And I can't say enough about you all being here and filling this gym tonight. I'm here speaking on behalf of Ted Cruz. And you'll know that I have not endorsed a presidential candidate in eight years. I said it has to be a conviction. Well, it came to a conviction for me on November 13th. I announced November 16th, and I've been working with, and, uh, with the Cruz campaign ever since. Here are some things that come with a President Cruz. First, he is a full-spectrum, constitutional, Christian conservative. It's in his bones. And he was spoon-fed the Constitution and the Bible at the kitchen table. I know a little bit about what that is like. It goes into you and it stays, and your convictions will allow you to face about, down about anything if it goes deep in your bones. Here's what you get with Ted Cruz. He has been a fighter that has fought for each of these things in a public arena. He's defended innocent, unborn human life. He's done so before the United States Supreme Court, and he did so with a partial birth abortion case successfully. He has also defended marriage before the court between a man and a woman, and he believes it. He's been active. He's been a fighter. He's also defended religious liberty in a number of ways as well, before the courts, as well as the Second Amendment. You know the Heller decision, the first time we really won anything for our gun rights, it was Ted Cruz that put that case together that protected at least the right to keep and bear arms to a degree in the Heller case. And then along the way, I put a lot of my effort into uh, battling Obamacare. I want Obamacare ripped out by the roots. Ted Cruz has fought it as hard as anybody in the United States Senate. He will do that and push the Congress to repeal it word for word. He's taken on the Washington cartels. He has fought amnesty every step of the way. And his immigration policy has signed off on by Jeff Sessions and Steve King. And Ted Cruz has signed that policy as well. King. My name is Ashley Runge. I hope you will join me in supporting Senator Marco Rubio tonight. I'm voting for Marco because I believe he not only will unite our party, but has the greatest chance of beating Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders in November. Marco believes in American exceptionalism, and as president, he will reverse Obama's disastrous policies, including Obamacare. He is committed to defeating ISIS and securing our borders. I've heard Marco speak. I'm convinced that his faith in Christ has been a great influence in his life. As president, Marco's Christian values will guide him in making the best decisions for our country. 2016 is a pivotal point in the direction of the United States. I want a president who believes in America, who will uphold our Constitution, and who will unite our country. Please join me in caucusing for Marco Rubio tonight. Thank you. Good evening. Welcome. My name is Denny Hammond, and I'm representing, representing uh, Donald Trump for president. There's a lot of things that I have that uh, support for Donald, and I'm going to give you a few of them, but first of all, folks, Washington is broke. We've got to fix what's going on out there. We've had, they've had their chance, Congress, to do things and it doesn't seem to get done. Donald is a doer. He will get it done. And a few things that I think to point out to show that he's going to do such things may follow. 
First of all, Don's tax plan. He'll lower the taxes in the middle class. He will take his business experience and uniquely qualified to grow the economy. He's dealt with the world leaders throughout his business career, and most importantly, he knows how to negotiate. Also, Mr. Trump understands the illegal immigration program and problem that we have. We have to build that wall. There isn't a candidate out there that doesn't agree with that. He will get that done. He will make Mexico pay for it. He also has to take care of the Syrian problem. We have got to stop this illegal immigration coming into this country. The insurgents needs to be done that way before they get into the country, not after. It makes a lot simpler way to stop it before it begins. Number three, Mr. Trump, as you remember, is a self-funding campaign. He's not taking money from any wealthy or special interest groups. He's not doing this for the money, folks. And he won't have to owe any favors to anybody in Washington for any paybacks. And that, to me, is very key. He's free to make decisions on his own and that are in the best interest of America. At this time, I'm going to turn it over to the temporary chairs and secretaries of the six precincts. Thanks again, folks. At this time, you can take out your ballots, vote for your candidate, and when you get finished, pass them down to the end of the row. You can, you don't have to. Yes. Anybody need pencil? Okay, you can pass them. Well, I can take them here if you know. Just set them here. Oh, yeah, just is that okay? Yep, yep, as long as we get a hold of them. Yep. I can leave it here? Leave it here, yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay, would you take this? These are some of the ballots. They're supposed to pass them down. So I need to collect the ballots? Need to collect the ballots.
Santorum, five. Donald Trump, forty-one. Yep. Yeah, other, yeah, other, there are no others. Okay, so which was there? Five. Yep. First was fourteen. Mm -hmm. Christie was six. Yep. Cruz was fifty-six. Yep. Fiorina was zero. Yep. Zero. zero. Yep. Huckabee, ten. Yes. Casey, one. Yes. Rand Paul, twelve. Yes. Rubio, twenty-nine. Yep. Santorum, five. Yep. Trump, forty-one. Yep. Total, one seventy-four. Yeah, I was waving signs today for Cruz. I was um, trying to get as many people as I know to uh, any undecided voters on the street to vote for Cruz. And it looks like it's paying off. It looks like he's doing well tonight. He's a principal conservative. You know, he made a promise to Texas that he's going to go to D.C. to represent Texas and not the people in D.C. And that's exactly what he did. It was really, really an experience. And all my friends are like, don't feel bad because, you know, Trump's going to win this. And I'm like, I'm doing what I got to do. And they're all congratulating me. So I, I didn't see what's going on yet with the results, but it looks like it must be good. Yeah. has won the Republican caucuses. Donald Trump second, Marco Rubio third, positioning himself as the establishment alternative. Everyone else way behind, Mike Huckabee is dropping out.
the people of this great state have sent a very clear message. After seven years of Barack Obama, we are not waiting any longer to take our country back. This is a time where we need a president that will truly preserve and protect and defend the Constitution of the United States, not one that undermines, attacks, and ignores the Constitution of the United States. If Bernie Sanders or Hillary Clinton get elected, if they were to win, we will be a great nation in decline. Well, I have to start by saying I absolutely love the people of Iowa. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, on June 16th, when we started this journey, there were 17 candidates. I was told by everybody, do not go to Iowa. You could never finish even in the top 10. And I said, but I have friends in Iowa. I know a lot of people in Iowa. I think they'll really like me. Let's give it a shot. They said, don't do it. I said, I have to do it. And we finished second. And I want to tell you something. I'm just honored. I'm really honored. And I want to congratulate Ted, and I want to congratulate all of the incredible candidates, including Mike Huckabee, who's become a really good friend of mine. So congratulations to everybody. the great state of Iowa. Let me first of all say, to God be the glory. Tonight, is a victory for the grassroots. Tonight is a victory for courageous conservatives across Iowa and all across this great nation. Tonight, the state of Iowa has spoken. has sent notice that the Republican nominee and the next President of the United States will not be chosen by the media. If the American people stand together and say, we want our country back. There is no force in Washington that can stand against the American people, that can stand against the grassroots, that can stand against our unity. We are going to do this together as a movement from the people. And I tell you tonight, Iowa has made clear to America and the world, morning is coming. Morning is coming.